guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host and today we finally have a new watchOS 8 update and this one that we're talking about today is watchOS 8 beta 2. this update comes slightly over two weeks since the release of watchOS 8 beta 1 and i've already updated it on my apple watch series 6 that you are seeing here and let me take you through the update so for me the update size if you go into the settings you can see that it came in at exactly 472 megabytes and i was updating from watchOS 8 beta 1 on my series 6 you can see that it's almost half a gig so it's quite a substantial large update and also it took a while to load the update size i don't know if that was a bug but since this is a beta and i was on beta one before i updated so you can uh, you can see that there were some software glitches when it comes to that now obviously this is not all that apple released today you can see uh, the apple developer website here some other updates that came out so ios 15 beta 2 came out today as well as ipad os 15 beta 2 and watchOS 8 beta 2 this is the video for that and the last one that came out is tvOS 15 beta 2 keep in mind that there was no macOS 12 Monterey beta 2 update so the maybe that could be coming perhaps tomorrow or next week now when it comes to the software updates that are here with this update let me show you some of the software updates if you go into the settings go to general and then go to the about this section you can see the new build number that we have here and it's 19r5286f so now the build number that we have ends with an f and just in case you are curious, before on beta 1, the build number that we had was 19R5266Q. So you can see that we took a significant jump from a Q to an F, which is something that's good. And now let's talk about the new features and changes or what are the changes that this watchOS 8 beta 2 brings. I would say that yes, watchOS 8, even the first beta didn't bring about many new features, but we did get to see some of those in my initial video that I did. Feel free to check it out on the channel. And beta 2 seems to be more of a stability fix instead of one that introduces new features and changes. So the first thing that I would like to highlight for you has to do with assistive touch. So watchOS 8 brings about all the assistive touch features that were uh, shown by Apple and this is what happened when I tried to set up assistive touch initially on watchOS 8 beta 1 like two weeks ago this is how this assistive touch feature works it's basically designed for people with limb differences and it uses the upper body limb differences to allow for this assistive touch and it can basically allow you to use your apple watch by clinching and pinching without even having to touch your apple watch you want to click where it says try it out and you can see some of the hand gestures that we can do by uh, pinching double pinching clenching or double clenching so we want to click where it says uh, try out on apple watch and the screen on the apple watch should begin by giving us the option to begin so let's tap where it says try it out like this and as you can see we we'll set the iphone here for now so on the apple watch it says pinch so let's go to where it says pinch and you can see try tapping your pointer finger and thumb so let's do that and see okay didn't seem to work maybe i just need to tighten this a little bit more so let me try again by tightening my band a little bit this is as tight as can be and this is a medium watch band so it's just, it's actually out of my comfort zone but let's see if it works so we'll try and pinch again didn't work let's let's do double pinch So as you saw in that video, assistive touch did not work for me at all. But now with watchOS 8 beta 2, it actually fixes that. So if we go into the settings and then go to accessibility right here and go where it says assistive touch 
and we want to now turn on assistive touch so let's turn on assistive touch you can see that this border background comes on just to show you that assistive touch has been enabled you can also do this again if you go into your apple watch and then you go to i mean your iphone and you go to accessibility and then you go to where it says assistive touch so you can see that we can turn it off here and it will also turn off here or we can turn it on here and it will turn on there but the difference difference that here bet between beta 1 and beta 2 is that when you turn on assistive touch the splash screen that shows you what you can do is no longer there and also another positive change that's here is that assistive touch is finally here so as you can see you can clinch or pinch and this is what's happening so you can see that on beta 2 if if I want to add activate assistive touch, I can sort of shake my arm like this and you see that it will tell me, yes, you have assistive touch on. And now this is how you activate assistive touch. So I will now just double clench. Yes, you can see you get some sort of haptic feedback and you can also hear a small sound just telling you that assistive touch has been activated. And then if I just do this, you can see that it moves to the next. I'm just doing this basically and yeah, it's moving to the next one and that's how you maneuver. And if I want to go back, I just have to do it like double. So like twice and then it goes back. So twice again. And then let's say I get to an application that I want to select. I can always like clench like this and then it will select the app. If I want to go down, I can do this. And if I want to like get more options, I can double click, double click like this. And you see that I get options like to uh, press the crown. So let's press the crown and go back to the home page. And you can maneuver again. If I want more options again, I can do it like this. And then if I want to scroll, you can see that I can have the option to select the uh, press the crown. If next option says arrange apps. Next option says system. Next option says auto scroll. Next option says interaction. Next option says more. Or I can cancel and when I get the option that I want, all I have to do is crunch like this. So as you can see, I've canceled this. So assistive touch is now working. And let's go back to the home page. Oh, I mean to the lock screen so that I show you something that's cool. So double crunch like this. And then we'll press the crown. And as you can see, it's back here and here you can also activate your assistive touch. You can see that you have the little circle there just to show you that assistive touch is ready to go whenever you're ready. So if I want to access more options, I can uh, activate like this and then I can press the crown and or if I want to go back, I can do this and press the crown. And now I can maneuver through different applications. So you can see that assistive touch is now working here on watchOS 8 beta 2, unlike what we had on watchOS 8 beta 1. That's, that's a good thing that they fixed assistive touch and it works with limb differences to detect maneuvers or movements. And that's how it's able to do those movements that I showed you. So that's the first change that I wanted to highlight. And the second thing that this update fixes actually has to do with cell connect connectivity so if you have the cell apple watch the cell enabled one with the red ring here on the corner then it this update fixes an issue where you could not disable your cell connectivity so if you wanted to turn off your cell connection you can now do so on watch with 8 beta 2 that issue has been fixed and also when it comes to the timer countdown timers you even custom ones that you set are now working so you can see that let's go there you see that my countdown timer is working let's just cancel it so this update fixes the issue on beta 1 where it wasn't working let's talk about some issues that this update doesn't fix the first one is you can see this is a portrait um, picture that I took and when Apple showed off watchOS 8, they showed that, you know, you can set a portrait picture and the, your, your p portrait or your subject will be on the front of all the metrics like the time and all these. But now you can see that on even on watchOS 8 beta 2, that has not yet been implemented. And the second thing that I noticed is that, you know, when your watch is locked like this and then you raise your watch, sometimes there's a delay in the refresh rate of the time. So it can say uh, 1620 and then when I raise it like this, you will see the 20 change to a 38. So 
just minor differences there when it comes to updating the time and the refresh rate those are the only issues so far that i've noticed from the few hours that i've been using watchOS 8 beta 2 now other than that that's about it for me that's how this update came in for me on my apple watch series 6 it's still a little bit unstable as you saw the build number ends with a q so i would really wouldn't advise that you update to this watchOS 8 beta 2 it's very early on and anything can happen so stay safe and if you like this video please leave a like down below and i'll see you in the next video peace